Hello and welcome to this special edition of Donation, Donation, Donation. With the nights getting lighter, the daffodils in bloom and the seasonal April showers, now is the time when many people start to think about having a spring clean. Whether you're moving house, renovating or just having a tidy up after winter, it's an ideal time to clean out your cupboards and declutter those drawers. Donated goods are essential to help PDSA generate vital income to help treat poorly pets. So, before you get carried away filling the bin liners, why not donate any unwanted items to your local PDSA shop? Unfortunately, there are some things we can't sell in our shops, but don't fear. We're here today to give you some tips on sorting the trash from the treasure. The living room has become the hub of family entertainment and we welcome donations of CDs, DVDs, video games and books. I think I'm going to donate this one. Unfortunately we are unable to accept donations of VHS tapes anymore as they become virtually obsolete and we find them very difficult to sell. If any of your donations have a 13 amp plug attached, it's best to contact us first. We can only sell certain electrical items and only in a limited number of our shops. While we can't accept food or white goods in our shops, there's plenty more things in the kitchen that you can donate. Personally, I love going to our charity shops to look for unusual or vintage kitchen items. And items such as this, if you were to donate things like this, they would be a guaranteed sale. If you're redecorating, don't just ditch any homeware such as ornaments, vases and pictures that clash with your new colour scheme. Let us put them to good use instead. Even furniture and soft furnishings that come with a fire safety label can be donated. If you would like to donate any furniture, please give us a call on our inquiry line to arrange a collection. As one of the rooms in the house with the most storage, the bedroom is a veritable treasure trove of goodies and most of the items sold in our shops come from this room. So clothes, shoes and accessories that are no longer wanted but still have plenty of life in them can find a new home through our shops which help to generate income to fund our amazing work. However, please do make alternative arrangements for the contents of your underwear drawer when you've finished with it. There's not a lot from the smallest room that can actually be sold in our shops. Toiletries and towels can only be sold if they're brand new and still in either their original seal packaging or complete with tags. However, if you do have used towels that you no longer require, why not get in touch using our online inquiry form on our website as they may be useful in our pet hospitals to help with the treatment of pets. Toys and games in good condition with a CE safety mark can find a new home through our shops when your children have grown out of them. And it's great the kids will know that their old toys have gone towards helping pets in need. And if you do donate a jigsaw, just make sure it's got all the pieces. Unfortunately, even as a charity helping sick and injured pets, we are unable to sell any used pet products such as food, bedding and toys. Donating your pre-loved goods to a PDSA shop is a great way to help us support the fantastic work that we do and the more good quality items we have, the more money we can raise to keep continuing that work. So, as well as having a declutter yourself, please spread the word to friends and family. If you're a member of a sports or social group, why not take a few donation sacks along to your next meeting and ask them to have a spring clean too. And don't forget to sign up for Gift Aid which can really help us maximise the value of your donations. For more information, visit our website. Right, I think we've got some great items from this property, so let's go and drop them off at our local PDSA shop. Goodbye. Goodbye. You've left me with all the heavy ones. I can't believe you're donating that book.